in an effort to make practice more efficient, I'd like you to set a stopwatch and see how long it takes you to get to a top speed. Um, just make sure when you get to a top speed and you know the forearm starts to crap out or whatever hand does and if you need to rest do it like 30 to 60 seconds make sure it's long enough so the fatigue goes away and don't just start playing anything else though either because you got to have actual rest not just playing something else I don't know if I actually said in the ebook you can play other things I guess it depends on if it's a mental fatigue thing or what anyway I might need to go double check that and I'm definitely on the side of don't play shit if you're doing a rest. Actually rest. And, you know, when you get to a point where it takes like five attempts to finally get it, that's probably the time to stop for the day. Um, so with this, there's a couple things I'll end up doing. Sometimes I start palm muting it. I don't start off palm muting it, <clears throat> but... Let's see when that happens. 60. One, two, three, four. Yeah, count of four even though it's in three, four. It's just more natural to count four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One sixty. One, two, one, two, three, four. So I noticed that. I tend to come up a little bit further on that last upstroke before I change strings. Just because my hand naturally or instinctively knows to get the heck up out of the way of the E string so I can go to the A string. So a little bit wider movement there before I go to the A string there. So that happens with all the string changes. So you might notice your hand doing the same thing. 180, one, two, one, two, three, four. Notice that my hand comes up more. One, two, one, two, three, four. So, exaggerating it might help you get used to that feel, or just let it happen naturally. I didn't even know I was doing it until Troy Gray told me. So, it can be developed naturally. 200. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two twenty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, a little bit of palm mute one come in there. It's easier to palm mute with a downward pick slam. And downward slant because, well, again, when you do do that upstroke and you're going to change strings, it's easier to clear the string with an up or a downward slant. Here's 260. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Without the palm mute. I'll do a more exaggerated little turn of my arm, changing strings. Palm muting, my hand's pretty much already there. So you can try it with or without the palm mute. Um, two. So if, yeah, that's right. I think you remember, yeah, so five minutes if you can't do the first four bars. Uh, then back it off, like maybe 116 trade again. But yeah, if you can get it clean, 100% perfect though, within five minutes, fantastic. Just keep it at the 180 and then just add a bar. Add a bar. Add a bar. Just one bar at a time until you can play the whole thing at 180. Put a stopwatch on this one too. See how long it takes you to get there. Um, 
And if you got any questions, let me know. I'll see you Monday.